Hey everybody, we made it to week five. Uh, great job. Uh, I did want to just start out by saying uh, last week's podcast, very impressed, and uh, your forum responses too. I, I thought were very, uh, very well thought out, and I appreciate all the feedback, uh, particularly on the challenges you've been facing. I know it's not easy to take an entirely online course especially one that's having you learn new technologies, new software, that kind of thing. So uh, good job on, on expressing all of that and reflecting on what you've been doing this, this term. Um, it's a short term. We're already at our final week. And uh, instead of doing kind of the traditional, uh, here's the assignment, here's the forum, go make a podcast, uh, we're going to do things slightly different. Uh, there'll be some similarities, but... Uh, stay with me here and, and we'll get through uh, what I want to explain about the differences for week five here. So in terms of the challenges you were uh, posting and discussing on our forum this week, um, I want to address some of those. I'm going to try to address each of you individually and uh, provide some feedback and uh, things like that on the forum itself, but uh, in case I don't get to that right away, uh, here are just some of my thoughts about some of the challenges you've been uh, discussing. So learning new software, obviously that that's always a challenge uh, and I think you've all done very well whether you know you had to learn Movie Maker because you didn't have GarageBand as an option I thought all of you did a very uh, good job really you know hitting the ground running and, and getting into Movie Maker to, uh, to fit your needs so good job on that but um, I do recognize that it can be a challenge and hopefully uh, the tutorials and the other the links to resources that that I did post hopefully those were of some of some use working within the constraints of the software you're using was also another challenge many of you mentioned and uh, you know that's certainly something we're all gonna face when we're using um, any kind of software and so for example GarageBand one of the biggest uh, constraints uh, you can't use video and still images in the same podcast. Uh, there are a number of programs out there that allow you to do that very thing, and it doesn't seem like it should be a big deal. Um, and it's kind of unclear why GarageBand doesn't let us do that, but that's just an example. And other, um, you know, sound issues or video issues based on what the software can or can't do um, certainly can be an issue. So, um, to all of you who, who are running into that, that challenge with the software you're using, um, it, it does you know, make us adapt and, and change you know, the way we look at an assignment or a project we're working on. Uh, we might bring in other software titles, other programs, online services to assist. Um, but workarounds, while you know, they can be frustrating and, and lengthen the entire process, um, sometimes they're our only option and, and it, it could make the overall project a, a better product anyway. Juggling multiple programs to create a product. So, you know, when we have to go outside the standard uh, software that we're using and we have to use an online service or another program because it has better sound or another program because it allows us to use photos and video and then combining all of these different pieces into one product can certainly add time and effort uh, to a project and I appreciate all the effort you have all been putting in uh, to your projects especially when you you do have to do this type of thing so um, you know with regard to, to juggling these multiple programs um, especially when we're working with free software or online services uh, you're going to notice this quite a bit. Um, you're not going to have the full, fully fledged uh, software f to use to, you know, get your desired result all the time. And so, um, that's one thing. Anytime you're using the web or um, any kind of free software, uh, you'll probably run into this. And and I really like how a lot of you have stepped up and um, are are able to and and really doing a good job of using multiple programs. Tweaking sound and video and images so uh, this piece I think 
really comes when you do get the hang of the software you're using, whether you're using one program or a number of programs to create your product. Um, once you get comfortable, you then start um, really wanting to get your sound and your video and your images just right. And a lot of times it can be really frustrating because if the software isn't doing exactly what you want it to, um, you know, that can be uh, disheartening and frustrating. So what I would recommend is for any of your podcasts, just know that, um, you know, they're, they're probably not going to be 100% perfect, and that's okay. You know, we're not uh, in the business of selling things or, or you know, selling podcasts or uh, really marketing uh, using these podcasts. And, you know, mistakes are okay, and, and it's good for students to know that, while we do want a, a polished pro product and we want them to put their their best uh, effort into creating the product, um, you know, mistakes do happen and that's part of the learning process. So um, I appreciate all the hard work that all of you are putting in and I think your podcasts have been uh, very high quality. Um, but try not to, to get so frustrated because it's, it's not exactly what you're looking for. Um, that that it makes the process not fun anymore I guess is is the bottom line saving sharing and publishing this piece is is another one of those components that once you get comfortable with the the process this piece can be uh, kind of challenging as well because you have to work with the constraints of YouTube or if you're publishing to iTunes then you have another process that you have to learn um, so I, I understand that piece of it what I will uh, uh, applaud you all on is how you uh, took to the blogging and linking your podcast to your blog and then linking that to Moodle I thought you all did a very good job with that um, that multi-step process so excellent work there and um, we'll talk a little bit more about um, an opportunity to to learn more about the publishing side of things uh, here in a moment so the benefits. Oh, it looks like my slide got a little mix, mixed up here. Anyway, we'll move on. So creating podcasts for your class. A lot of you uh, indicated that that is something you would you would enjoy doing and you think would benefit your class. So that's great. Hopefully, uh, you'll kind of take this and run with it after this course. Uh, whether those podcasts are going to be educational ones for your students to, to use that you either create yourself or you find online, or perhaps they're informational podcasts for parents. Um, one of you uh, posted this idea, and I thought that was great. Um, that's an excellent use for this, and it would really give your parents um, a good look into, into your teaching style and what's happening in your class. So adding another tool to your toolbox. It's a great way to differentiate. It's a great way to uh, introduce a topic in a new way. Uh, so just just giving you yet another option and then giving your students another outlet so when they're uh, doing projects or assignments uh, having this as an option and then finally down here at the bottom inspiring your learning so hopefully this entire process has uh, been beneficial and you know it's really opened your eyes to some new technologies and maybe it will take you down the road uh, to discover something uh, new and, and exciting so this week, what we're going to do, like I said, a little bit different than, than our normal weeks. Uh, so let's kind of go over what, what I'd like us to do uh, for our final week here. So our assignment is going to be a Yodio. And I'll explain what a Yodio is here in a minute. I think they're pretty fun, and I think it's different, and, and it should uh, give us a, a fun way to close our, our class here. Our forum we're going to reflect on one thing that you that you will implement in your classroom and we'll talk about this here in in a minute and then we'll have our friday campus session and we'll we'll chat about that again so a yodio for your assignment you'll go to www.yodio.com and what this is is it's a a really cool service that allows you to use your phone uh, to record your voice and there were a number of um, websites that let you do this uh, a few years ago that were free uh, a lot of them have transitioned to where you have to pay for it but basically 
Yodio still allows you to create a free account so you'll have to, to sign up for an account uh, if you have a junk email account I would encourage you to use that so you're not uh, inundated with junk email in your normal uh, mail server but uh, so create your free account and then you call the phone number you record your voice you log into your account you upload some pictures and then you combine those two things together to create uh, basically a, a photo podcast so what we're gonna have you do this week for your Yodio assignment is just try it out we're not looking for anything uh, really professional here so again sign up for the free account call the number record some vocals insert some images on the website and then we're going to share your creation. So either link to your Yodio on your blog or even embed it on your blog. There are a number of ways to share. If you're familiar with sharing YouTube videos, you might have a preference whether you want to link or embed. And then finally, make it fun. Uh, it doesn't have to be your, your traditional topic that you've been working with uh, all term. If you want it to be, that's great. Uh, this is just another way to... Uh, you know, share that information. Uh, but if you want to make it uh, about your cat Fluffy, that's great. So, you know, you have uh, free reign on the topic that you that you use for this assignment. Our forum. Normally, in this class, I have people write up a lesson plan or a series of lessons that incorporate podcasting in a number of different ways. I've had people. Uh, incorporate podcasting in 10 different ways uh, and you know that has worked in the past but I want to kind of refocus our attention here um, for for one particular reason when we're learning about technology we can be overwhelmed with the topics we're learning about so we're learning different hardware different software different online services and you know it, it becomes too much and when, when you try to incorporate every little thing that we learn in a course into your teaching, um, that can be pretty overwhelming and you might not get as much out of that as uh, I would want as an instructor. So instead of writing an entire unit or, or even a lesson plan, what I want you to do is focus on one thing. So of everything we've done in this class, from finding podcasts online that you could use with your students or you could use yourself as a, as a professional development resource uh, or creating your own podcasts or having your students create podcasts, whatever it might be, what is the one thing that you think you will, learn, you will use in your classroom? Um, so instead of you know writing out every use imaginable just focus on the one that you think fits your teaching the best finally our Friday campus session is going to be from 430 to 730 again in ITC 001 same lab we were in uh, week one I'm gonna spend some time talking about iTunes publishing for those of you who uh, want to learn more about that and want to explore that a little bit uh, if, if no one at the session is really interested, we'll, we'll totally skip it, but I can work with uh, those folks who are interested, uh, even on a one-on-one -on -one basis. We'll work with the iPods and the iPads. We have quite a few of those, and uh, I want to show you the process that uh, you can use to access podcasts from those mobile devices, but also upload your own podcasts to those devices. And... Um, Finally, let me know if you can or can't make it to the Friday meeting, just so I can get a, a head count, so I can know how many iPads to bring, that kind of thing. Um, so that's week five. Check for the assignment forum and the forum discussion, uh, along with this, um, obviously this video, but then uh, I have a just for fun video as well. So. Let me know if you have any questions or, or concerns. Let me know about Friday. And, um, you know, have a great week. And, and if I don't see you on Friday, uh, have a great rest of the term. And good luck with the rest of your studies.